happening place. That is a fact that we are all aware of. The nightlife is crazy, the music scene is enjoyable, and the place also has a quite vibrant history. But there is one other thing that clearly outshines all of these, and that is food. If you are in New Orleans, you cannot miss out on the various kinds of snacks and meals you get here. It is such a food-centric city that you won't even know where to start and where to end. Luckily for you, we are here to dig you out of that confusing pit. Here is a list of top 10 must-try food in New Orleans. 10. Muffaletta Sandwich A traditional muffaletta sandwich is made of a soft yet crunchy, round, sturdy bread loaf. The makers split the bread horizontally and cover it with a spread of marinated olive salad, then pile it up with mortadella, salami, mozzarella, ham, and provolone. These are quite big, so unless you are particularly hungry, do not go for an entire sandwich. In fact, if you are going out with someone else, the best way to eat this one would be just split it into halves. 9. Gumbo One of the most famous dishes that actually has an African origin is the gumbo. You will find it on both Cajun and Creole tables in and around the place. However, this dish has changed quite a bit over the years. Earlier, it was a boiled okra dish with rice. Today, you will find that it is made of roux, which is a flour and fat mixture found in many French dishes and loaded with chicken and fowl, sausage, seafood, and seasoned with salt and spices. As you might have already guessed, this one is quite a filling dish as well and a perfect meal for a tiring day. 8. Creole Turtle Soup Yes, this one is indeed made with turtles. Chefs use snapping turtles or the green turtles to make this rich, gravy-like soup that is traditionally served with a splash of sherry added to the dish after being served. Just to give you an idea about how delicious this is, did you know that this was served in the White House for special events? This dish actually has a long history, but you might have to spend a good amount of time looking for it because it is a dish that is not easy to prepare. Most people hate the lengthy process of cutting and preparing the turtles for the dish. 7. Oysters Who doesn't like some oysters on their plates? New Orleans will give you a great share of oysters that come in so many varieties that you will forget to count. You can find oysters prepared in a number of delicious forms at this place, from raw to fried to covered and baked to char-grilled. But the way to go about it here is just have it raw. As the local saying goes, eat oysters, live longer. Louisianians love eating fat, salty oysters raw, playing on the old notion that oysters are an aphrodisiac. 6. Baynets If you are in New Orleans and you do not try out baynets, you will regret that forever. These are dough balls that are fried so that they puff up in the center, and then they're covered with powdered sugar. It looks like a fried pillow, and eating them hot gives you the same comfort as hitting your head on the pillow after a tiring day does. You can always pair that sweet goodness with café au lait. It is exactly like what it sounds, which is coffee with milk, but it comes with a hint of chicory flavor. Chicory is the ground root of the Belgian endive, and it was frequently served as a coffee substitute and was blended into the coffee before brewing for a long time in New Orleans. It is a part of French history and came from the French-style café au lait. 5. Bananas Foster Do you know how Bananas Foster became an actual food? It was actually invented at the famous Brennan's restaurant in the 1950s. Chef Paul Blange and manager Ella Brennan were trying to help out a fruit vending relative who had an excess supply of bananas. What they came up with is an exciting dessert. For this dish, bananas are sautéed in sugar, rum, and liquor and flambéed tableside. The warm banana topping is served over cold vanilla ice cream. Different restaurants across New Orleans will serve this in different ways. Sometimes you will find it with waffles or maybe bread pudding. Either way, all of them are the definition of the perfect dessert. 4. Crawfish If there is one thing that you will find on all the menus at New Orleans, it is the crawfish. After all, it is found throughout most of the year, so the supply isn't at all difficult to get. The most local way to enjoy it is boiling the crawfish in a huge vat of spicy liquid and accompanying the dish with new potatoes, corn on the cob, sausage, and mushrooms. 3. Barbecue Shrimp Turns out seafood is quite big in New Orleans, isn't it? And while we are on the subject of seafood, how could we miss out on shrimp? 
If you pop into a place, they will serve you sautéed jumbo golf shrimp and a Worcester spiked butter sauce. Just to make you hungrier, this one is made with tons of butter, olive oil, garlic and basil, making it an insanely delicious dish. But also, you need to prepare yourself to get messy because the shrimps will be served shell on. By the end of it, you'll be licking your fingers covered with tasty sauces. 2. Red Beans and Rice The reason why this one is in the list is because it is one of the staples of New Orleans. It is like a dish that every household makes, say right on Monday itself. But there is another reason as to why we refer to a Monday. Do you know what it is? Well, Monday is the laundry day, which is a task that takes quite a lot of time and effort. At the end of the day, you need something that would make you feel full, but also give you all the nutrients that you missed out on throughout the day. That is how red beans and rice came up. It is actually a legacy of the African and Caribbean arrivals to the city. People would throw together rice, beans, ham or sausage into the pot with Trinity herbs and spices in the morning. The beans and rice would be ready as the laundry was complete, just in time for supper without any more effort needed. To this day, it is still made in the exact same manner. 1. Po' Boys Once you set foot in New Orleans, the one dish that you will definitely hear about is the Po' Boys. It started out as charitable gesture to feed streetcar workers on strike and has now evolved into New Orleans' most famous sandwich. As the name says it, it is nothing but a sandwich. What is special about this are the fillings. Served on crusty New Orleans-style French bread and dressed with lettuce, tomato and mayonnaise, these loaf sandwiches are overflowing with different kinds of fillings. These may be fresh Gulf seafood, smoked pork, meatballs and pretty much anything that the chef can dream up. Some places might also offer variations that include debris. Debris is a slow-cooked roast beef ends, which is served with gravy on top. You can also go for the dressed po' boy, which means that lettuce, mayo and other fixings will be piled on top of the bread. Since it is undoubtedly the most popular dish in New Orleans, you will find it at any corner of the streets. By now, you're drooling, aren't you? Don't worry, we don't blame you at all. We aren't denying the fact that we did dream of eating up all of these while making the list as well. But you do know what this means, right? It's time to plan a food trip to the Big Easy because the city will never disappoint you. Which one of these would you love to try out? Let us know in the comment section below because we love hearing from you. Also, if you loved the video, make sure to hit that like button and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We will be back soon.